Hello, hello, hello. Welcome Staying back happy to death before Bros. I lose my mind. And I just closed our timer. Fuck. Where's the timer? It's right there. Thanks, Dustin. You're welcome. And it's reset. Anyway. <laughs> God. <laughs> Professionals. <laughs> okay. More stuff here. Uh, no, I'll do what I want. Don't listen to like. Now no. I. <laughs> A free t-shirt! It's dark. Okay. You are going backwards. Yes. Why? Oh, hey. Yeah. Because I did not see that. That's why. Uh... Hello. Oh god. New room! Good observation. What? This place... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no problem. Lovely. I am compelled. Stop. Turn back. Proce Proceeding further will only result in misery. God, I... Uh... See, this is the horror stuff that fucks with me. I, I am... As much as I would like to do it, I just need to stop stopping for these. Yeah. Oh my god, this place. You're doing it for my mental health, let's put it like that. No, no. It is for the. <laughs> what is? Whoever made this has issues. Yeah, I would agree. Painting. What does it mean? Who are all of you? The the fact this is made by a person. One person. All these different voices inside their head is not good for my brain. I, ah, uh, man, it is so just stark white. I'm not even sure if I'm going the right way anymore. At the end of this level, we're going to see the puzzle again. And here, I'll tell you what I think the puzzle means. Each of these games represents- Oh, you hear that whispering? Was on Koda's mind at the yes. time that he was making it. And the puzzle is a way of closing the door on a previous chapter of his life before moving on to the next one. Isn't that exactly what yes. I said? Oh, there it is. Fucking dots! Oh my god, In I'm each of his games, so sorry, Dustin. After exploring a theme that, you know, he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution, he understands exactly how it works, <laughs> and so it gives him a simple mechanism for moving on. Because there's this dark area between the doors, a space between spaces. Oops, I just hit the Before microphone. You, move on, you get to pause. Just for a moment, a few seconds to reflect on and let go of the events that led you here. To step back and connect the pieces together. To grasp at that elusive bigger picture. That it's not so bad in here, answer though. <clears throat> And one note behind it. That is pretty neat. Yeah. Oh god. Uh, oh god. That's typewriter. How do you. And lamp up. I. Uh, I say something. Be anything. I just need you to say something. Talk to me, please. Why are you having so much difficulty talking? Speak, 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 speak. <laughs> Calm down, Dustin. That is. Oh God, that is not. I oh, am God. not okay. Porn okay, stars die too. Tough. It's gonna kind of just 
spin its own wheels for a few minutes. Hang with it. Why what? Oh god, what? The title though. I am so confused by this. That's the same picture. That is so dark and void. I... And is this no. I am losing my mind to this. <laughs> this wasn't supposed to be a horror game. I am in the well. Like, this is it. The whole game. And there's nothing that's particularly interesting about it. You just walk to the end of a hallway. Except, for some reason, Cody gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's gonna start over, use the same assets, turn it into something else. Okay, cool. Here's version 2. Ah. No furniture. Um. How about a TV? TV sounds nice. As a cook, I would personally like the tin stoves. Yeah, uh... Let's go with it. Tin stoves lined up along the wall. Okay. Those are not stoves. Skylight full ceiling window, let's open. Uh... I... I kinda wanna see what happens if I answer three. Tesla coils, fuck yeah. Hmm. one but still it's not really communicating anything it, it's kind of just weird for weirdness sake so okay he throws it out and starts over this time he comes at the prison idea from a different direction stop with prison hello please walk forward no you are a hovering piece of text maybe you to escape any prison environment Follow the instructions carefully. Take care that you remember each step. First, click on this table. The three holes. Of course. Now what is, what's next? Photo frame and click it to turn it slightly. Now turn the floor lamp in this room off and then turn it back on. Now go to the left side sofa, move it over a little. Excuse me. Finally, touch the shelves. That's it. In a real prison, the escape will now open. Return to the start and be taken back to your prison. Fuck. Uh, uh... Table, painting, uh, on and off, lamp. Uh, Couch shelves. Shelves. Okay. Lovely. Let's see if... They told you to remember it, Doug. Why did you not start remembering it? I don't know. Return! Thank you. Lovely. This is... <sighs> this is just so... Weird. And... and of course, now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the outside, and the outside is the inside. Ah! Let me just blink you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen of them. Personally, I think it's awful to watch this. To see a person basically unraveling through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on? 
Oh, God. That voice telling you to stop. That particular mechanism of defense against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going. And then he hits on something. And he likes it. And that's <laughs> it. He's done. He stops making prisons. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created. And the reason I think it works <laughs> is that the prison is not actually in it. Holy fuck, I'm... Yeah, we're... Be... <laughs> I think we're going over a little bit, but we're gonna figure it out. I am heaving my jeebies right now. Oh, God. The lamppost. Oh, God. What is going on? <laughs> Hello? Who is this? I'm you from after you escaped the prison. Okay. It's a conversation. And so this is what Koda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. All of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. <laughs> Three? Oh, wow. This is just so weird. This is so weird. Bootstrap Paradox. bunch of episodes of us being super uncomfortable. Oh, the illusion of choice hurts. Yeah, I know. Go on. Nothing will ever change. Go on, I and then why cuts to black. This a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone <laughs> who can trust that things are going to be okay, wouldn't that be nice? Wow. Just... This really hurts. So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? I think we'll find out next time. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Say that. I'm not okay right now. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Um, Say dapper, guys. Stay, Just... stay dapper. Stay sane somehow. <laughs> I won't.